Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to answer one of the Java interview questions, that is, what is JVM? Let me answer. First of all, JVM stands for Java Virtual Machine. In order to understand more about what exactly is JVM, let me explain something here, guys. After you understand whatever I cover here, you will be able to understand the remaining points in a better way. Okay. So let's say you have written some code here. Okay. This is your laptop or something. In one of the editor, you have written some Java code. Here, you have written some Java code. Java code. And you saved this Java code in a file known as some, some name.java file. Okay. The extension of this file is Java file. Now, if you have to run this Java code, what goes on is we need something known as before running this Java code, we need to first compile this Java code. We have something known as Java compiler. Okay. There is Java compiler and uh, using this Java compiler, the Java code will be compiled. Okay. Java code will be compiled and will be converted into the something known as byte code. Okay. When Java compiler compiles this Java code, to run the Java code, compiling is required in Java. Okay. To compile that, we need Java compiler. Java compiler will compile this Java code and it will convert into something known as byte code. Okay. Java code will be converted to something known as an intermediate language or code known as byte code. And it will this byte code will be put in a file known as dot class file. Okay. This byte code will be placed in a dot class file. Okay. So now here comes the thing. This byte code, okay, this byte code will be given to something known as JVM. Okay, why JVM has come into picture, I'll tell you. Let's say you have one machine where Windows operating system is there. You have another machine where Mac operating system is there. You have another machine where you have Linux operating system is there. Okay, when you install Java software in this particular machine, okay, when you install Java software in this particular machine, JVM for Windows will be installed. Okay, along with Java, JVM will come when you download and install Java for Windows. Along with that Java software, JVM will be installed in this machine. Okay, JVM related to Windows will be installed. When you download and install uh, Java for uh, Mac machine, JVM for this Mac machine will be installed along with Java. When you download and install JVM for Linux machine, JVM for Linux machine will be downloaded and installed along with Java. Okay, that happens automatically. This will come with Java guys automatically. Okay, here JVM stands for Java Virtual Machine, and this byte code need to be provided for this JVM. So here, this byte code need to be given to JVM. JVM need to convert this byte code into the JVM in order to run this uh, code. Okay, JVM in order to run this Java code, JVM will intake this byte code and convert that into something known as native. Machine level code, machine understandable code. Okay. So, whatever the machine understands, right, into that format, JVM will convert this byte code into the native machine level or machine understandable code. Okay. JVM of Windows machine will convert the byte code into the native machine level code that can be understood by machine, Windows machine. Whereas, JVM, which is there in the Mac machine, will understand this byte code and convert that into the native machine level code, which can be understood by Mac machine. Whereas JVM related to Linux machine will, uh, you know, interpret or will understand this bytecode and convert that into na native machine level code, which can be understood by understood or can be run on the Linux machine. That's what will happen guys. Okay. Here, every machine has its own JVM. This makes Java platform independent because of this, uh, this, uh, this uh, concept of JVM only Java has become platform independent. Though you write your Java code in windows machine, you can run it in Mac machine or Linux machine. If you run your code in Mac, you can, uh, if you write your code in Mac machine, you can run it in Windows and Linux. It's possible because, so first compiling will happen wherever the Java code is written, doesn't matter guys. First it will get compiled into the bytecode and bytecode will be understood by JVM of any machine or any operating system, doesn't matter. And it will be ultimately converted into the appropriate machine level code can be understood by that particular machine. So JVM is there in between to overcome this problem of platform independence, okay, platform problem. So platform independence is achieved with the help of JVM. So this is what is JVM, guys. JVM will convert this bytecode into the 
native machine level code, but how the JVM will convert this bytecode into the native machine level code understood by its machine where it is available. JVM has something known as an interpreter, guys. Okay, JVM has an inbuilt interpreter. Interpreter. This interpreter of uh, JVM will interpret this uh, bytecode line by line, statement by statement, and convert that into the machine code, which takes a lot of time. So uh, to save the time, along with this interpreter, JVM also has something known as JIT compiler. Okay, we call it as JIT compiler. Along with uh, JVM, we have this JIT compiler. In the J JVM itself, along with the interpreter, we have JIT compiler. JIT, com uh, JIT compiler will look some patterns, predefined patterns in this uh, bytecode uh, that will automatically dynamically get converted into the native machine level code in a faster way. Okay, so JVM uses the JVM uses the combination of interpreter and JIT compiler. Okay, JVM uses the combination of interpreter and JIT compiler to convert this bytecode into the native machine level code understood by that particular machine in a faster way. Okay, in a faster way, guys. That speeds up, high performance will be achieved because of this JIT compiler, okay, of JVM. So ultimately what happens, the code will be executed on that particular machine, okay. Java code will get executed in this way, guys, okay. This is the role of JVM in running the Java code, guys. Java code first, with the help of Java compiler, will be converted into the byte code, the .class file, and that byte code will be passed to the JVM of that particular machine. JVM of that particular machine will interpret and JIT compiler using all this stuff dynamically. JIT compilation and all, interpreter and all, the bytecode will get converted to native machine uh, level understandable code, which uh, JVM runs it, okay? Finally, to run the Java code, native machine level code will be run on that particular machine. And this is how the Java will get executed. And this is how the JVM plays an important role in making the Java a platform independent programming language. So now let's go with this next two points. Now we understood what exactly is J JVM in this uh, diagrammatic format and all, right? Explanation and all. So JVM stands for Java Virtual Machine. JVM runs this bytecode by converting it into native machine level code that, uh, that its uh, machine will understand, okay? Machine level understandable code and run it and runs it, okay? And then runs it. So the detailed explanation already have given here, guys, okay? So and uh, JVM is something because of which Java is, because of JVM, because of uh, JVM, Java is a platform independent, programming language, okay? Because of uh, JVM only, Java is a platform independent programming language, guys, okay? So hope, guys, you got uh, an answer for this question. That is what exactly is JVM in this session. So that's all for this session. Thank you. Bye-bye.